Hi Soul Family, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Meghma Hira aka Ego Alchemist and I am on a mission to help awakening souls to heal their relationship with the self and basically have an amazing life. So those who have seen me before, you will notice that I have changed my setup. So a lot have been moving around in my life and I'm sure it has been moving around in your life as well. And while it might seem that things are spinning and just going in rapid speed in different directions, it's actually falling into place bringing us more structure and simplicity and simplicity is a beautiful thing to have in life it allows us to enjoy more and have more fun on this journey my intention for today's channeling is to get some answers some clarity or guidance from our higher self around what the last Aquarius full moon and Leo season brought us. Now, those who follow this kind of channelings and content, you will notice that everybody has been reporting that it has brought us much clarity. And while that is true, it might not always feel like it when all the information and perspective, everything, all that downloads is just settling down within our being. What I have observed going on in the collective is there is a healing in masculine structure and basically coming to a point of inner union and being present from that energy of balance of internal communication and harmony. Another channeled message that I had and my guides, my higher self wanted me to share that with you is to think inside the box and I thought it was strange too but here is what this message means now people who watch my content mostly are going through a phase of figuring their life out their journey their part um, during this time and space and how they fit in and how they can make the most of their lives and feel fulfilled day to day and each of you have your own vision perspective goals around that fulfillment that purposeful life And that is a box and it's not a bad box. We as humans are like in the past have been thinking in boxes and the problem with it was we stayed stuck in those boxes. The message think inside the box reminds us that we can use that same behavior and pattern within us to progress in life. Like what's your next goal? Where do you want to see yourself? Imagine that box, picture that box, put yourself in that box and think from that box, think inside that box and see how your thoughts, attitude, you know, the kind of progress you're making towards your goal changes. I resonated with that message a lot. I think it's powerful. 
we often want to deny our human tendencies and existence but it is the most day-to-day -day part of ourselves we are dealing with our internal conflicts judgments healing from those wounds and stuff on a daily basis yet we try to fight and forget and deny our nature yes we are divine but we are also human we are divine beings in human bodies in, in the human world with the human psychology it doesn't hurt us to look into that understand that and use that to our benefit so i'll proceed on with the reading now and i will leave you with that thought of thinking inside the box what is the next box that you're gonna put yourself in and just remember these boxes are not bad unless and until you decide that is your final one. Generally, when a bunch of cards come out, I sometimes shuffle again because it's just a clump of cards. But this time, it definitely feels like an important message. And this is something, an exercise in tarot reading that I am working on with myself. So I try less and less to reject any shuffle or cards that are falling out and actually try to draw the message that the spirit is trying to give me so if you're also a tarot reader who is watching this and have had similar thoughts or experience what you have done about it and how you go about it what was your learnings from it please to share in the comments that would be awesome okay so let's see what do we have here First of all, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Father of Cups, Mother of Cups. So this is my Wild Unknown Tarot deck, the Pocket Edition. And uh, in this deck, uh, the kings and queens of the suits are referred to as fathers and mothers and the knight is referred to as as sun so this is sun of swords and then we have the magician and finally the five of pentacles <clears throat> two major arcana cards here the wheel of fortune and the magician and it's beautiful how the mother and father cup of cups came out side by side just like this so i think this exactly talks about that internal communication and flow of intuition compassion understanding self-awareness awareness of the divine presence and order and feeling that within you so i see the full moon has really brought up some emotions or maybe memories or even triggers for you to look at and again release all narratives and blockages that were holding you back from providing yourself from receiving from yourself from taking a stand for yourself from following your heart your intuition your inner calling so this is bringing us the collective who are tapping right now 
in any time and space you are right now coming to a place where you are ready to stand for yourself stand by yourself and stand for your heart's desires your dreams your goals and your inner calling so this is about taking that step to follow your inner calling so the first card all that we had was the wheel of fortune and as this card fell out and it was it flew out and i heard the message you know that your life is changing and it's not going to be the same it is not going to be like it was before it's going to be better of course but you can feel it and you can feel it because you can also feel your inner yin and yang in balance in harmony look at that that image it's it absolutely like yin and yang okay next we have the son of swords so still with thoughts the mental realm and in this deck they are represented or carried by owls so i'll come to the sun or the night part later but owls as an animal medicine is pretty powerful and they can sense objects around them that's how they see at night so with the mother of cups here also a card where it tells you to see in the darkness and and look for those light those clues those messages and guidance owl also reminds me of a similar energy now this is a night cup so this is about focus so focus your thoughts and yeah so take that step make that choice every time okay throughout the day every time you have to make a choice between doing what's going to serve you and what's going to keep you in the old reality make that choice to choose the thoughts feelings and actions that align you to your self to your inner calling to your purpose to your sense of fulfillment and this is exactly what this card is telling you see for those thoughts those inspired moments that is aligning in you to your destiny to your purpose and just focus draw move all your energy towards them next one of my favorite cards and of obviously i'm sure of many of you there okay setting up is a magician and this is also a very powerful card is a major arcana card and it talks about spiritual mastery mastery over the elements now what are the elements there are our thoughts our emotions our passion our energy our will and also the physical elements which would be our body the house we live in the our environment money and all that so this card is reminding that you are the magician you are the alchemist you are the master of all your elements you just have to believe it you just have to follow those guidance those bread crumbs that are leading you on that are guiding you and you and guiding you back to yourself you know because you are the one who is doing everything and you don't even realize how powerful you are and but this is a time you know you feel different you have been feeling different your energy system your dna have upgraded and you can feel it in your bones that it's going to be different you are different you have upgraded the 
but there's a warning I feel in the final cards. The biggest blockages or roadblocks that you might be dealing with now is in the form of lack and this is five of pentacles. So this five is a number that calls for change. Change is needed. Where does this change is needed is in your lack mindset. Thoughts, narratives, people who perpetuate lower energies, denser energies, lack, fear, scarcity. You have to make choices in the physical, in your life, in, among your family or friend circle or job. You have to make those choices and the time is coming for that and you will be able to make those choices to come in more alignment with yourself. Okay. So yeah, that was to this message. Let me know how this resonated. Remember, take only what resonates. My messages are designed to resonate with in a way like you need a confirmation, like it's more of a confirmation that of you already know. <clears throat> yeah, so that was to this message. I love it. This is good. This is this is actually a lot of clarity isn't it like what's happening what has led us to this energy and so and, and how we can use our masculine and feminine energies polarities left and right side of the brain equally in balance we have upgraded to this point where we can operate in a more balanced harmonious way in our inner worlds and we are using this newfound gift ability this new state of mind to alchemize our lack our fear our worries into gold into happiness into joy into abundance into unconditional love support and gratitude so thank you thank you thank you thank you for being here with me today i hope this message resonated let me know what resonated with you and what this made you feel my messages are designed to be a confirmation a guidance from your higher self so when you hear it you will feel that yes you know this you've heard this but you're just hearing it now and if it doesn't no worries it just wasn't meant for you that particular part of the message or the entire message but still let me know how that went with you and that's okay i'll see you again soon with another channeling for the third quarter of moon i will be looking forward to this uh, in my new setup which i love very much i could feel myself in more alignment with myself and i could feel hit a different realm to do with my channeling so super strong and I'm pretty sure this will resonate with a lot of you out there. So take care. Love you. Bye bye. Happy Ascension.